different video today. I'm um, doing a bit of a shop tour. Not really. Been meaning to come suss out Rich Dog's car for a while now. The number plate says it all. What up? So, got S13, R34, and 2J S15 in the build. Got the donk in there. It's looking not too bad. They actually fit pretty well, eh? Yeah. Like, considering how big they are. So this is the build I always wanted to do years and years ago, but just never got around to it. And Richard is quite a particular man. He likes things certain ways. <laughs> and as you can see, like he's gone, he's got some good parts on here. Gone pretty crazy, eh? These vibrant clamps. Oh, the works. Um, what was the loom? Uh, Warren Species. Sort of just spec for the 2J, pretty standard, yeah. really. That's straight out of the state, so. Yeah, straight out of the state. Cheap and effective, really. Yeah. I mean, like that is like a real easy way to go. Because you don't have to worry about wiring or anything, it's just literally like plug and play, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and you basically build the harness to how you're going to spec the engine. So, well, yeah. pretty hectic parts on this. You've got a health tech, eh? Yeah, so going for the Elite 2500. I'd have to go how tech, got a link in the 13. But, uh, yeah, just went different with this one. What turbo is that? Uh, Garrett G35 900. Put a 8.3 rear housing on it. Because what power are you chasing with this? Um, I only want 600. Yeah. But, fuck. I'll let him reliable. Live, reliable 600, but whatever it stops at, it'll make. This thing is a street car, um, so that's plenty for the street. And still to this day, like when I wanted to do this um, build, there was like no street legal 2JS15s. I think now there's what, maybe two or three in the country? Yeah, you don't, you don't hear of a lot. Yeah, there's not many. Definitely don't see them a lot. It's easy enough swap. Like, yeah, yeah. At this day and age, it's like swapping anything into a car, really. Yeah. Everything's off the shelf. Yeah, definitely way easier because what you would have bought all the mounts like yeah, mounts bolt straight in. Um, engine mounts from Golby's. Yeah. Uh, and the trans mount is, I think it's a Freed Engineering out of the States. Um, but that's drive shaft as well, so that all bolt. Oh, that's ideal. Up. Yeah, it's so easy these days. Because yeah, you got engine and gearbox package, eh? That was like, what, three years ago? Yeah, it was when El Edu had the, uh, the white 15, I think, just as yeah. he sold it, I got this. Um, but cheap he, as hell. Yeah, he got it before the prices went up. Like, and yeah. literally the perfect time. Yeah, like what I got the engine and box for, you'd, yeah. you'd get it. You wouldn't even get an engine for now. Because what, you're still running out 154, eh? Yeah, yeah, brand new R154. So, oh, also, because you were having a few troubles with the um, clutch you were saying as well, because he wants to do a, a mechanical release rather than a hydraulic. So if yeah. anyone knows, or has any information about what you can do there with well, the just four. the same as mine. Well, yeah, well, I've had a look fine. around, but it's hard because no one really says what clutch you can use. Because there's that always oh, experience with the Tilton. Yeah, there's the always Gherkin kit <laughs> that I've got. But I think that was like crazy expensive. Yeah, like, oh, by the time you get out of the States, you're probably a thousand bucks. Yeah, just for a little, you know. Yeah, it's pretty hectic. Because I mean, like the hydraulics, that's all right. I'm not really a huge I fan personally of don't like them, eh? A lot of people prefer them but from what I've seen the hydraulic just seem to be more problems to be honest than like my one with my tilt and twin plate I've never had a problem since I put it in with my really experienced setup. OE body not cut up or anything and you're leaving it like that eh? Yeah yeah gonna leave it like this um yeah until I get over the lack of traction and have to go wide body. Yeah true. But it's like a pretty tidy base that he started with as yeah. well which is sick. Yeah it was just a basic I think it was a um auto manual swap before I got it um, in a but it was just I just needed a white shell really just wanted to yeah. the white so it doesn't really matter what I got even got the plasma man intercooler fucking big box hey when you see a plasma man intercooler that's when you know that's some yeah it's gonna be good to see it once it's going oh it'll be a we'll hectic to car do another video when it's all, all finished oh so that's a six boost is it yeah six boost manifold um Got a kit from Golby's, easy as, can't go wrong with Golby's. Radium fuel system throughout it. Yeah, just tucks everything away, nice and easy. What injectors and stuff? Uh, so I've got to get them yet, but I'll probably do like Bosch 1650s or something. Oh yeah, should be plenty. Uh, so it should be plenty for anything I need. And I'll go on E85 as well, so I've got yeah. fuel, just easy power. Yeah, exactly. Even got the vibrant um, catch can there. Pretty extreme build, really. well, Yes and no, but like a lot of New Zealand builds, people won't go to the effort to, you know, get parts from overseas. Just kind of get the run of the mill stuff. Fittings like that. I'm trying to just eliminate anything that I'm going to have leaks or issues with. So it'll be full dash 20 cooling system. Vacuum lines are going to be dash 
through a four. Eliminate anywhere they have issues, really. Yeah, just keep it reliable. Super yeah, reliable. I've seen enough people where they have issues with the simple shit like that, so it's like, do it once, do it right. Oh, well, ready for summer? Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Need a few more things. Funds are tight, but... Uh, what do you reckon, another few months, all going well? Yeah, um, just a few large items yet before I'm ready to tune. Um, cams will be the biggest one, pull the head and do some cams and stuff on it. Um, other than that, fuel system, just finish off with injectors and... So what size cams are you thinking? Um, I was going to do either Brian Cower 272s or um, I've seen the Calford do a 272, 278 which would be quite an interesting one. I've seen a few videos on those and they yeah. sound pretty good. Quite choppy. Yeah, quite choppy. Chopping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta have a choppy 2J. Oh, yeah. You gotta hear it. Yeah, it's about that for that. Yeah. So, got the R34 so, over here. Richard has had this for. You've had this for like, what? Uh, be six, six, seven years, I'd say. Because oh, you hectic. got this not long before I got the 180, eh? I remember. Yeah, I think I had it before yeah, it was like you a, got the 180. A few weeks before I brought the 180. So, he's had this for a very long time. And it's probably, what, quadrupled in price since then? Uh, probably, from what I paid for, but, but probably about. Six times? Far yeah, out, still that's like, hectic. It's still bone stock pretty much, eh? Yeah, just done a intercooler on it um, and turbo back exhaust, but that's it. So yes, it is a GTT. Yeah, there's the plate. Got plates everywhere around here. Fuck yeah. Is it unlocked? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah I don't see many that are yeah, all original like this. Fuck, she's all so, very tidy. So tidy. Manual as well, obviously. Look under the bonnet. Oh, it's dirty. That's <laughs> right. Far out. That is one good base. Neo. You do not see the covers on there. No. Too often these days. Tommy Effie will have a field day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you drove it? Uh, had it out a few weeks ago for oh. a... Um, for a cancer drive around Gisborne, so thought that was a good enough reason to get out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Because it's factory manual. Yeah, factory manual. Yeah. Far out. Yeah. Because there's so many of these are either auto or converted. Mm -hmm. That's sick. And we have the S13 here. Now, you can see a original sticker there. This was actually Josh's car from, oh, when was that? That way back in the day. Five, probably five, five, maybe five, yeah. four, yeah. five years ago. Because what was he doing on that? Was it a SA or was it plus T in the CA? Yeah, he was, was in plus T the CA. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of the body's all how it was. <laughs> yeah, it's just still in the primer and stuff. But so what, you've swapped this to an SR now, yeah, eh? put an S14 SR in it. Um, you got it tuned, eh? Yeah, tuned. Yeah, I made about 330 horse with the wheels. Yeah. Um, enough for now, but it'll probably get a, a version 2 and be nice to do a VBL head. Quite oh, wow. It does sound quite hectic. Planning on doing panel and paint soon too. Yeah, so hopefully uh, book it in with the bro James. And, oh, uh, we have to get him down here and see what he thinks. James has got us. I've got yes. a kid and everything for it. Um, K-Mac out of Oz. Quite a nice kit, just a factory aero style. Yeah. Um, fits really well. Because you were wanting to keep it two-tone, eh? Yeah, going to go back to the factory two-tone. Yeah, that'll be sick. Good old Phoenix there. Radiator and then intercooler to go on. Oh, change yep. it up. Just had one lying around when I put it together, but put a better one on. It's all pretty um simple but tidy. I was just about to say, do you want some powder coating done? I know a guy. I need, I need pretty... a bit of a tidy up, but as I say, when I pull the engine for paint, I'll tidy it up and remove wiring. And it's just sort of a rush together one. Yeah. Because oh, it's all legal now, right? you got it all yep. suited. Yeah, suited. Very legal. Not bad. Good setup. Yeah, this the screamer on this is pretty nasty for an SR. Good old God's motor, as they say. <laughs> they are good. I still love SRs, eh? People hate them, but personally, all the SRs I've had have just been troopers, and I've hammered them. Never had a problem. So, people that do have problems with them, I don't know what they're doing wrong. What's um? What's that from? Ah, uh, that was what came out. Of oh yeah, yeah. Oh, cause yeah, that's sorry, that's just a cause yeah, this was a spec S, wasn't it? Yeah, spec S. Yeah. yeah. Good base. Good base. Did you see? It's got the genuine Ganadors. <laughs> uh, oh, this side. Oh, the Granta doors. <laughs> well, it's sick though. 
Yeah, pretty bang. Local uh, company out of New Zealand, actually. Yeah, pretty bang finished. There's a lot of Golby's parts on this. If anyone at Golby's watches our videos, then um, hit us up because we've got some big builds coming up. Yeah, Golby's have got a lot of stuff for Jay-Z's and it'd be ideal for us. I only just um, realised all the parts here. Tilton, flywheel, fucking dose pipe. So it's Chase Bay. Oh, so you're going to do head studs as well? Yeah, so when I pull it off, I'll throw head studs in it. Just because I'm there. Yeah, new tensioners, idlers, everything. Water pump, oil pump. Just give it a good freshen up before it gets abused. No shortcuts. So you're just running a D-Dub 400 sink, uh, is that it? Awesome. Nah, so I've gone two 300s. Oh, yeah. Um, Cause one 400 wouldn't be enough for my power Yeah, goals. true. Um, and none of the hangers I've found hold two 400s, too big. Oh, yeah. So I've gone with two threes, so hopefully that'll be suffice. Yeah, surely. Richard's offered us to um, take the 13 out for a hiss. Let's go. Roll up that door. Roll up that door, you're in. <laughs> we out. Let's see how the screamer sounds. It's been a minute since you've been in the back of one Billy of these things. <laughs> All right. That's mean. That's Holy quick. Shit. I'm just about floating in the back. <laughs> that's nasty. Wow. That's hard. Yeah, it? that's yeah. mean. Laggy, but that's. I don't even know if it's not that laggy. No, that's like. That's pretty wow. cool. It's got a nice dose to it, too. What was this? A master power? Yeah, don't know anything about it, but yeah, master power. Oh, well, gives me confidence for my master power on the RX7. That is a very nice oh. sounding SR. I reckon SR, like a setup like this for drifting would be so good. Oh yeah. Yeah, all up top. This is like, this is all you need. This, what is this mate? Uh, 320. <laughs> that feels like a lot for 320. Yeah. Like butt dyno, that, that feels like 370, 380. Good old SRs. They're good. I forgot how small they were. Like interior yeah. wise. It's been a while since I've been in the Sylvia and they're smaller than I remember. They're cosy. They're cosy. These turbos do seem to have a bit of a loud dose and whistle to them. Like even the RX-7 does. It's gonna be on barrel up, eh? Oh yeah, on another Hyundai street car. I just want the RX-7 to be finished. Yeah. Better one, he reckons. That's sick. That is not 320 horsepower, that's more. That dude's got a shit on. Yeah. Can't get any traction because there's um too much dirt and stuff down there. <laughs> That's a mean gate for an SR, mean yeah. limiter for an SR. I want an SR again now. Like. Yeah, SRs are bloody great. Could not get any traction. There's like basically just mud on the ground. That is sick. What do you reckon? Do you want another SR streetcar? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> that is a very nasty little setup, that. That's mean. I want another streetcar. Well, I do have one. The RX-7 will soon be done, but yeah. Reminds me of the good old days. Yeah. When that's all we had. That really makes me want to get another 180. Little <laughs> SR. Or Jay-Z. Yeah, Jay-Z. <laughs> yeah, 1J, 180. <laughs> oh, old top man to Richard for um, showing us his uh, setup and taking us for a spin. Uh, give this video a like and everything and if you do like these 
type of videos we uh, might do more, you know, go see people's cars and setups. Maybe Gazza can start doing some in Aussie too. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's plenty over there. Yeah. yeah, that'll be pretty cool actually. So, hope you enjoyed, um, and hopefully we can see this thing done in the next few months and we'll do another video of it um, all finished on the street. Should be pretty good, so see you in the next one.